The Ukrainian government will allocate 100 million grievnes, which is nearly 4 million US dollars, to clear up the area affected by the depot fire in Ichnya. We made a decision to allocate 100 million hryvnia for the restoration of three settlements in the Chernihiv region, which have been damaged or partly destroyed. We will also instruct the regional administration to provide for the mobilization of building materials and specialists who will restore everything. On Tuesday morning, a major blast occurred at the 6th arsenal of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry in the northern region of Chernihiv. The intensity of the fire then started to decrease. Firefighters continued to work on the scene. Six seats of fire were located initially. Firefighting aircraft of the state emergency service is working at full capacity. Now we have three seats of fire remaining out of six. The depot covers an area of 682 hectares, two times the size of Central Park in New York. It consists of 119 depositories. 40% of the ammunition is stored in open areas. We'll be able to effectively protect our reserves when we build closed, reinforced concrete structures to provide security, because it's impossible to protect ammunition from sabotage groups or even negligence when it's on the ground. An investigative team from the Ukrainian Security Service and Defense Ministry is also working on the scene. They believe that the explosion was caused by sabotage. The explosions were peculiar. At first there was a snap and then a glow. After that, two snaps. And the explosion suggests that ammunition might have been laid to blow up our depositories. What suggests diversion is that the valuable ammunition which is needed in the Joint Forces Operation Zone was the first to detonate. When the fire is fully extinguished, experts will start clearing up the unexploded ammunition and shrapnel within the 16-kilometer zone surrounding the depot. It's planned that the work will be completed by December 15th.